Look at that. We're live from New York. No, no, from Chesterfield. We're live from Chesterfield. I don't know how to use this. You don't know how to use this. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. How you doing? Hey. So what are we doing, dear? We're doing our FOC show. Woohoo! With our beautiful <clears throat> background. Yeah. That's what happens when you do housework all the time. Housework all the time. Hello. So, we will be talking about some books coming up for final orders due on Sunday, May 23rd. Wait, 3rd. 3rd. Why was I about to say 6? I have no idea. <laughs> Sorry. Sunday, the 26th. <laughs> Why am I saying that? The 23rd. I'm adding two days to that. The 23rd. <laughs> it is the 23rd. Sunday, I'm... May 23rd at noon Eastern time is when final orders are due. I have no idea where you're getting the 26th. I don't know what day it is anymore. So anyway. Anyways, then, don't listen to me. Final then, orders are due on Sunday right, at noon. At noon time. That's right. And then next week, get used to it because... DC final order cutoff is next Thursday. Why? Because it's a holiday. What holiday? Memorial Day. Day. Oh my God, it's almost the end of May. Yep. So, but anyway, that's next week. We're dealing with this week. Final order, May 23rd, Sunday. Whew. Oh my God, that was painful. You were making it very painful. Let's go do that. All right. You can't do that. Yes, I can. All right. Here, I'll let you talk today. Um, so we will start with Image Comics. Oh, did you s explain how to even get to this website? No, I was gonna let you do it. Go. Mm. You said I talked too much last I'm week. I'm not so. very good at this. I just like giving him a hard time. So go to previewsworld.com and go to catalog and final orders due or FOC, which is FOD if it's Final orders do FOC if it's final order cutoffs. Very confusing. Don't worry about it. Just move on, man. Move on. <laughs> so here we are. <clears throat> We're on the final orders due page. This is what it looks like. Yeah, there's a cat deal. Yep. Orders are not due on Mondays, they're due on Sunday. The Our day. orders are due on Monday. That's why we have to have them in on Sunday. Your orders are due on Sunday. Correct. Anyways, back to business. Starting with image. There's a new number one. Yeah, there's a new number one. Compass. What is that about? Mm. So, Greg Rucka huh. presents. You have to say it's not. <laughs> he's not writing it or anything. No, because it says Robert McKenzie and Dave Walker are writing it. Correct. But that's what Compass is about. There you go. Sounds fun. I'm going to go away. Go away. You're, you talk about me talking too much. You stall too much. Whatever. Um, there's a second printing of Good Asian number one. So if second printings you have to request. You might not have it otherwise. Geiger's. Fourth printing? Jesus. Fourth printing of Geiger number one, yeah. Hmm. And home number three is on here. I haven't read number two yet. Yeah. Well, I haven't either, but or it just came one. out. Yeah, I did. I'm on number one, actually. Did you? I have not. Oh, you have not. No. There you go. You Jupiter's Legatus Legacy Requiem. So number one of that. Three different covers. Yay. Oh, four different covers. There's yeah. F. Oh, geez. Netflix cover. You can't count. Yeah, I was try hoping it wouldn't go that way, but it is just way too much stuff. <laughs> Radiant Black, number five. And number four, second printing. Oh my goodness, so many covers, okay. so many printings. Silver coin. I would like to point out that time before time, number one, second printing, number two, first printing is out. And then there's three covers for number two. And then Ultra Mega. How are you liking that book? You read it last night, didn't you? I'm not exactly sure. I know everything that's going on in that book, but I'm enjoying it immensely. So we'll just go with that. Because I have sometimes, I'm like, I have no idea. 
And then we have five covers for Walking Dead number 17. Oh, well, there you in go. color, so, you know, the blood looks more real. Hey, how about that? Huh. Well, that's a for image. Dark Horse. What we got? The horse. I said Dark Horse. Why are you looking at me weird? Cuphead. Cuphead trades out. Norse Mythology 2, number one. What the heck? Yeah. They do it in segments. They do a lot of their stuff in segments. Everything in segments. Uh, not a whole lot in Dark Horse World, I don't think. Not a whole lot. We're going to ignore no, IDW. No, just going to IDW. Because they don't actually do FOC correctly. <clears throat> so, more G.I. Joe. Godzilla. Sonic! Hey, yeah, Sonic. Star Wars High Republic Adventures. Number five. I feel like people don't care as much as they used to. Is Usagi. Hey, Usagi's up number 20. Ooh, wow. Wings to the Stars looks really cute. Yep. There's that. Uh, DC, we'll get to in a minute. We'll go to Lunar for that. We'll go to Lunar for that. Marvel. It's Marvel. Marvel. Alien number four. Got a Captain America annual number one. And then, and then Demon Days Mariko number one and all of its beautiful glory. Correct. These are just the regular covers. Right. All the mini auctions. Jim Bartell and J. Scott Campbell and Stan Sakai. Yeah, the Stan Sakai cover. I'm kind of excited about that. I want one of each. I like the fact that Stan Sakai is doing a cover, so that's really cool. Um, I still think my favorite would be Jim Bartell. Well, yeah, I'm not saying that, but... It's Todd still... wants to be on the show, I guess. Mm, Todd's always on the show. And then we have the Fantastic Four wrapping up. I think this is the wrap-up of the... No, this is Brought of Doom Part 2. Never mind. You don't know what you're talking about? Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. That's fine. So we'll continue with the Bride of Doom stuff. And it is the finale of Heroes Are Born. So Heroes Are Born number seven is on this list. You do not walk on the keyboard. Dance. I can figure. I guess your lap is cooler than mine. Or warmer. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, King and Black trades are coming out. I like your scarf. Uh, if anyone missed it, these are really cool. If you didn't see them in previews, um, so the Marvel Masterworks, they're actually doing the Marvel Masterworks in soft cover and then a smaller format similar to the um, All Ages books. And so they're $16. So you basically get the first 10 issues of the FF from 1961 for. Sixteen dollars, so, and I think the like the masterwork hardcovers. Well, you can't even find these now, but they're like a hundred or something. I bet you could find them. Online. Well, that's a whole that's a whole different uh, conversation there. Before my wife gets mad, she starts yelling about all the tabs. Valkyries, mighty Valkyries. Yep. Good old Valkyries, and as you can see, they're doing <clears throat> Spider-Man villains. Oh my gosh, the green cover. Yeah, so doing Spider-Man villain covers for a lot of Marvel book, book ah, books. So they're out there. Oh, that's kind of a... I guess we're continuing the clone saga. Crazy. So one's Miles, one's a clone. Which one's which? I'm not telling. Can you click on the other Spider-Man cover? This one? Mm-hmm. He's going to look at the pretty colors. Yep. I didn't want you to click on that like that. Well, I did. I, now I can't see who did it. There. Hmm. Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Anything. Oh, we still have some pride covers showing up. Bill Jimenez covers. Yep. Since they come out every week for June. More of the connecting gala covers for the X people. Planet sized X Men. Yep. Huh. Ooh, pretty. Terry Dodson. You like Terry Dodson art? I do. 
and it's plant sized. So I don't know what that means. It means I can't put it in my pocket. I guess because it's plant sized. Hmm. I'm just saying I don't make the rules. Mm. Here's some Star Wars pride covers. They just add a little bit of a rainbow hint to the words. I think. Hint hint. Mm -hmm. And then yep yeah they did the right there at the R and S. Yeah. And then we we'll continue the war of the bounty hunters. Lots of trades, Taskmaster trade, more X-Men books, X-Corp galas, just all kind of stuff. Dino my this is probably not kid friendly. Uh, well, we'll scroll through really quick. Hey, it's Army of Darkness and Xena trade. Da -da. Sacred Six. Sign Universal. Sign Universal. Scroll on through there. Oh, that's it. Boom! Check a lack a lack All right, y'all. If you want a berserker number two, third printing, let us know. Yeah, here's your chance. Here's your chance. Else we don't berserkers, we won't carry many extra printings. We of still that. have first printings and right. abundance. Yeah. Uh then you have the Giles tea time one shot. And also drinking the blood. Blood, blood, blood. I love the Firefly brand new verse covers. They're yeah, so they're, pretty. Yeah, they've been gorgeous. I have no idea what the book's about, but. Storytellers, there's your Momoko cover. Luna. Oh, Luna's wrapping up. Number five. So they say. Yeah, look at the Franny cover. Well, no it's really cover cool. you're getting. What a save yourself. A new series. Yeah. What if magical girls weren't Earth champions at all? Yeah. So basically, imagine Sailor if Moon. Sailor Moon was actually evil. Oh. Well, that sounds perfect. That is that is what this is. So. So yeah, that actually be. Sign good. me up. Yep. Did we order yet? I don't remember seeing that. Um, uh, I don't know. Oh, she looks so sad. Yeah, well, you know, when they're evil. I don't know. Do people, evil people know they're evil? Uh, uh, yeah. Well, sometimes I think they're evil. <clears throat> Seven Secrets, number nine. We'll continue on with opening secrets. <clears throat> it's a Yoon variant. Oh, look. More mm -hmm. stuff. Everything else. Everything else. <laughs> La -di -da, Samarian. La -di -da. Darkwing, Heavy Metal Magazine. There's your Doctor Who stuff. That's oh look, there's a Dragon Racer. Oni. That means you probably already ordered it. Yeah, this is actually it's Dragon Racer, but this is actually Ghost Hog. So this is the, like the sequel to Ghost Hog. Hmm. Nottingham for you, Nottingham fans. 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 What's this? What's, What's this? this? God Killer Tomorrows. Whoa. It's back. It's back. Huh. Hmm. There you go. You never know what you're going to find on this website. Things will surprise you. It's back. I never knew it was here. There's Tesla. Nottingham. Nottingham. Wow. Fourth printing of number one. If you want a fourth printing of number one, or third printing of number two. Red room number two. Or second printing of number three. There you go. Yep. Red room. Red room number two. We sell out of number one. We did sell out of number one of red room. Of course, we had a lot of people tell us that they <laughs> may not pick up the second issue of red room. Looks good. It's pretty. It can be disturbing. And you promised me darkness third printing. That's a cat. Wow, it is. That's cool. Magazine. Star Wars magazine. Trading cards that will probably never come in. Toy statues. Models, pins. Popsicles. Look at the Sonic pins. Look at them. Just look at them. They're adorable. Adorable. Games. Games. Okay. That's it. Um, now that's we'll, not it. I'm that's it for this site. I'm going to find. Don't. Slam. 
Okay. So we'll look at DC stuff. So just so you know, Batman Fortnite number six of six is what FOC are due. Yep. Batman the Dark now, Prince Charming. Not that the people that need this message will get this message, but you heard it here first, folks. There's a Ginny Friesen cover for Catwoman. How gorgeous is that? Claire and the Dragon. So they actually have, so Lunar also does Scout. So some of these will be is Scout that related. Like, um, what is that dragon's name on Disney? No, I don't know. That's what he looks like. Yeah, well, <laughs> they're dragons. Hmm. Flash, 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 50 yard dash. So if you haven't been reading Flash or you don't know what this Flash is about, imagine Quantum Leap with Wally West. So Wally is basically leaping into other Flash's bodies throughout different periods in time. Hmm. So it's actually pretty neat. Wonder Woman trade with the beautiful State, yeah. Jim Bartow cover. Justice League. Justice League's been really good. Enjoyed that. Legends of the Dark Knight. Just a reminder that you cannot order incentive variants but you can see what they look like and maybe when they actually go on sale. You can. That's Sweeney Boo? That's Sweeney Boo. I'm assuming we ordered that. It's a prestige edition. Huh. I don't know what that means. I don't either. It's $9.99. Yeah, we'll have to look and see. Well, I'm sure you'll order it. Yeah, well, you know. Nightwing 81! Yep. Look at that cool cover. Yeah, both of them are really cool. I don't like that one. Just said they were both really cool. And then say you had to like it. I like this one. I think a lot of people like that one. I mean, what's not to like? Scooby Dooby Doo. Wait, oh, uh, Static season one. So the milestone uh, books are back. So here's your FOC for static. So quite a few covers for that. And then they're doing one in 25s. And the team foils, we rarely get either because of how many you have to order to even get them. So I'm assuming they're just putting the pride label on this. Yes. I'm assuming here. Grace Ellis is right on that? Yep. Hmm. Probably good. And then Wonder Girl number two. Jello Jones. I like this cover. Look at this one. Yeah, that's all the Wonder Girl covers have been really good. More Pride covers. Yeah. And then Wonder Woman uh, Black and Gold. So to continue on like the Batman Black and White and then the Superman Blue and Red, they're doing uh, Wonder Woman Black and Gold. So and all lots you need of to know is that Jim Bartel did this cover and then Torch. Yep. So you got Jim Bartel. But then you have Josh Middleton's then you cover. Have Middleton cover. I mean, how yep. do you pick one? And look at this one. Yeah. Yeah, wow. I did that. Oh, this is incentive. Ignore. Yep. Ignore. Ignore. And then you have a trade, Wonder Woman Lords and Liars. So there you go. All the beautiful books. So get your orders in for these. When? When? Sunday. What's the date? The 23rd. Yes. <laughs> Sunday the 23rd at noon Eastern time. That was so painful. <laughs> I try. Yep. You try. I mean, I don't do anything with my life anymore, so I don't know what day it is. What day is it? Friday? It's Friday. It's Friday. I know it's Friday. Hmm. All righty. Well, that's it for us in FOC. Hope you enjoyed it. If not, eh, tell us what you want to see better. We can we go through it. just like looking at FOC. Yep. So we're we gonna can... do it anyway. So we might as well share with you guys. Yep. This is kind of our first pass through it before we do our FOC for the week, um, which is usually done. We do our finalizations on Sunday week, at breakfast. On, usually, yes. <laughs> and then we make sure that Tommy has them before noon, before our uh, show. Yeah. That's all, folks. All right. Thanks a lot. Come by and see us tomorrow. Yep. Nick Justice Nick will Justice be, will be signing there. some books. Yep. Bye. Bye.